You know, I always cheat. You know, I'll, I'll fit it super tight here so it looks like it's a close fit and leave the sides long and then I'll adjust it and then I'll take a scent, I'll take a scribe off the axle and I'll cut the sides out so it looks like it's fit perfect and tight but it has extra gap in the front. So the fender will be one radius and then the actual side cutout will be offset. So we put that soot on there, you know the trick, the soot burns off right at the temperature point when this becomes soft. So, but you got to be careful though because it's only about another 100 degrees before it melts. So when you heat it up, it spreads it out and then you cool it with water. And since you're cooling it with water, it freezes the molecules pulled apart. So you can basically like move the metal with your hands almost. That's a lot closer. Yeah, and once we wheel this and pop it up, then yeah. it'll kind of suck that in even more. The English wheel is, it's just two dies, a radius bottom die, and they have a little contact point, and it's just basically pressing, you know, a line. And you could like overlap the lines, and the line just follows the radius, and then that bottom die will dictate what your part radius will end up being. When you're using this thing, you try to pull, like you try to keep it with the shape of the roller, right? Yeah, you go straight in, straight out. Because if you pull so it up. So if the mo middle's arced, you arc it. Right. You know, the best thing to do is get low so you can see it. Mm -hmm. You know, that way, because going this way, you know, unless you're like rolling an edge or something, which you rarely do, you don't ever want to kink it or push on it or you don't yeah. want to help it like you do with the shrinker. So you're just gonna f it up. What we might do is cut it, yeah. weld it together. Pull it in. Because we got nice sides. That's a nice shape for that kind of tire and stuff, so. And the wheel, you know, I'm pretty, I, that's what I started off on. I was the English wheel guy for 10 years, for a decade before I switched to Power Hammer. And so I'm really, really proficient at it and can like really, mm -hmm. 